Good morning, grade fours, fives, sixes, and sevens. This is our last intermediate phase assembly for the term. And with that, we have an awards um, assembly today. So before we get going, I'm going to read out a long list of names of people who are getting certain merits today. Um, and can those people make their way down as quickly as possible? I have several lovely assistants over here. You can't see. Oh, they just stood up. And they're going to direct you into line so that we can, when you do call out your name later, you can come and fetch your award from myself and Mrs. Ingham. Um, so listen carefully for your names. I'll give the class name and then your name. If you miss it, I'm going to keep the yellow merit for myself. Not really. Here we go. Um, the following people. In 4C, Anna Clarence, John Damon and Michaela Durris. 4E, James Runnels, Nathan Vessels and Lily Peters. 4H, Louise Lenson, Matthew Abramser and Casey Williams. 4I, uh, Kyla Phillips, Kayla Henry and Connor Gawley. 4P, Anouk Planting, Mia Van Eck and Colin Sharpley. Grade 5, Vaughan Naidu, Mia Jane Manley and Josh Lucas. 5HA, Isabella Bardenhorst, Liam Jabeer and Jordan Scott. 5I, Zara Fortain, Samuel Payne, that rhymes, and Hannah Mill. 5W, Kiara Jacob, Zara Cross, and Jessica Hendricks. 5WH, Casey Guillaume, Luke Detoy, and Matthew Mill. 6B, Ava De Stadler, Joshua Rankin, Emily Shane. 6C, Emma Falkenberg, Diego Heldenes, and Jada Dyers. 6P, Kumani Kikla. Peyton Beals and Mia Grondin, and 6S, Trinity Solomon, Faye Ashburner and Mika Son, 6V, Minky Faree, Clara Papini and Cole Jonas, 7B, uh, Kelsey Birch, Gregory Crawford and Jordan Powell, 6, sorry, 7C is Erin Vessels, Jean-Luc Colborn and Nathan Kuhn, 7D, Kelly Dawson, Mia Reddy and Caleb Veltachen, 7S, Lorelai Helsby, Rock de Swart, and Saskia Large. And 7W, Naomi Spalker, Haley Serpentine, and Chloe Smith. Then, random names, keep listening. Uh, Kezia Job, Kuyana Lisi Makweb Mabeka, Mia Peters, Emily van Fien, Megan McMinda, Tamron van Asvierken. Anna Gret Herat, Connor Manuel, Amy Wilson, Sage Buchanan, Reese White, Abigail Dutoy, Michaela Doyle, Faith Bockhorst, Robin Paulson, Amy Palander, CJ Kotzer, Joshua van Niekerk, Nathan van Veek, Tegan Gounden, Mia Ruthven Smith, and Riley Klein. If your name is called out, please come down to the staff room and the, uh, our assistants will put you in a line and we will sort those merits out as we go along. But while we're on our way there and while you're on your way down, we're going to ask um, Noah to read the school song for us. So if you guys coming in, you can do it nice and quietly. Um, listen carefully to the words of your school song. Cursing off here in our beautiful land, school that we love so well, proud of you stand. May it always be our aim. May, you, may we strive with might and main, ever to preserve our school's good name. Working so happily, we should be a credit to our school and servant faithfully. Our alma mater, you're the best. Ever green, ever growing, be forever blessed. Thank you, Noah. Now, Smokey's going to line up for us a, um, a musical item this morning. And when, you, when the musical item is done, everybody will be down here, I'm sure, and be ready for our yellow merits. Thank you, Smokey.
thank you very much, Mika. And I'm sure you all recognize that piano piece. It was Anastasia. Um, thank you for all the many hours that have gone into um, practicing over the years and getting to that level of proficiency. Well done. Right, when we read through the, uh, the citations now, that's the little piece, the reason why someone's getting a yellow merit. I want you to listen, because very often we think if you come top of the class, you get a prize. But that's not the most important thing. It's, it's cool if you can come top of the class, but it's not the most important thing. What people say about your character and who you are as a person is what comes up in your yellow merit. So listen to citations. These are the things that are important to us as a school and should be important to you as well. So, uh, boys and girls, you're going to come up to Mrs. Ingham and you're going to get your certificate from her. And which way are we going to go out, Mrs. Ingham? And you can go straight out that door back to class. Okay, once you've got your, your merit, Straight out the, the, the door to the end there, and you can go back to class. And any little thing you say or move inside here, all of them can hear. So you've got to be as quiet as you can while you sit here. Okay. Right, here we go. With Scoot's class, Anna Clarence, for showing bravery. You can start coming up. Anna, where's Anna? Anna Oh dear. So Anna got hers for showing bravery to get the job done even when she's feeling nervous and for creative thinking and artistic flair. Well done to Anna. Next one in that class is John Damon. Come up, John. For a great improvement in his test results this term. I noticed that on his report as well. And for his willingness to participate in class activities. Well done, big boy. Right, up the door here where Liam is. And everybody, you go in that direction. Right, next one, Michaela Darius for her never give up attitude and increasing confidence in maths. Her positivity and caring nature are greatly appreciated. Well done, Michaela. This is Evans's class, James Runnels. James wants to learn and he engages in every lesson. That means he participates. He's listening or he's, or he's offering an opinion. He's thinking about it. He is quiet, determined and always tries his best. Keep it up. James. Well done, James. Notice it doesn't say anything about James's marks here. It says he is someone who always tries his best and engages. So well done. Nathan Vessels. For taking initiative in class to solve problems and for his friendly nature and wonderful manners. Well done, Nathan. Lily Peters. For the positive energy she brings to the classroom. We enjoy her beaming smile. So is her beaming smile. Oh, there it is, yeah. Her beaming smile and appreciate her easygoing nature. Well done. And 4H, Mrs. Hilda's class, Louise Lenson or, is absent, but it's, it's for her great maths and her jump, the leap that she's made in her maths this term. Well done, Louise. Matthew Abramson, for his quiet diligence, that means he keeps going every day, he keeps at it, he does the best he can, and determined effort resulting in a big jump in his maths, 12% from last term up. Well done, Matthew, a good job. Casey Williams, for working with greater confidence and independence to improve her English and maths marks. Fantastic. What? No one in 4-H today. Um, Mrs. Ingham's class. Nice new signature you got there, Mrs. Ingham. I noticed it on the reports. Thank I'm practicing it. Um, okay. Kyla Phillips for taking feedback given to her seriously. Okay, that's part of our Make the Jump theme this year. Know where you are and move forward. Following it and pushing herself to reach her potential, which has resulted in brilliant results. Well done, Kyla. And Kayla Henry, for her spectacular enthusiasm towards her school and showing an excellent sense of pride in all she does. She's such a role model for her peers and a confident leader. Wow, lots of nice things in there. Well done. And Connor Gawley, I can sit down here a little bit because, you know, it's taking a very long time and I'm old. Connor Gawley is a man of few words. What? Not on the rugby field. And very little complaints. But he works diligently. He aims high. And he also offers valuable contributions to his peers during group work. Well done, Connor. And then Mr. Phillips' class, Anouk Planting, for her calm and gentle nature while bringing a sense of enthusiasm and excitement into the classroom. Well done, Anouk. 
Mia Fennec, for continually working to the best of her ability and for growing in self-belief over the course of the year. Well done, Mia. And Colin Sharpley, um, glad to see his arms not in plaster anymore, all wrapped up, for displaying tremendous confidence and belief in all that he does while being a positive impact on those around him. Well done, that's nice to hear. Well done, Colin. Then, grade fives, Mrs. Henry's class, Vaughan Naidu, for being a well-mannered pupil who goes about his work in a quiet manner. He takes great pride in the presentation of his work, which is always a pleasure to mark. Well done, Vaughan. Mia Jane Manley, for always going about her work in a mature, organized manner. She's a polite pupil who always strives to give of her best. Well done. And Josh Lucas, for being a friendly, polite young man with a delightful sense of humor. He is our current 5H IT specialist <laughs> and is always willing to assist anyone who needs help. Does Mrs. Henry need lots of help with her IT? Yes. Okay, okay just checking. 5HA, Isabella Bardenhorst for the effort she puts into presenting all her work, her enthusiastic attitude towards learning, and her willingness to assist her teacher and peers. Well done. Liam Jaber for his mature attitude towards learning this term. Liam is an enthusiastic member of the class, and no task is ever too big to tackle. Keep being determined, Liam. Well done. And Jordan Scott for the effort she puts into all of her tasks, which are always beautifully presented. Jordan is an incredibly positive learner who always gives of her best and is never afraid to ask questions. Well done, Jordan. Mr. Ingpen's class. Zara Fortain, for her significant improvement in her overall results this term and for always bringing a positive attitude to yeah. class. She is absent. I know the next person is definitely at school. Samuel Payne, for his ability to make everyone feel part of the class and bringing people together and for the, thorough, the thoroughness with which he completes all tasks. And Hannah Mull, for the effort she has put into improving her academics this term and the positive attitude she has towards school. Well done, Hannah. 5W, Kiara Jacobs. Kiara is an absolute pleasure to teach. Wow. She has made the jump into term three. I said jump loudly because it's capital letters. With determination and perseverance, she's a hard worker and always gives of her best. And Zara Cross. Zara has leapt, oh, another synonym for jump, into term three with enthusiasm and a diligent work ethic. She has put exceptional effort into her studies and achieved all of the goals she set out for herself. And Jessica Hendricks. Jessica is an incredibly helpful member of the class who's always willing to assist both teachers and peers. She sets a good example for her peers and displays impeccable manners at all times. And lastly, Mrs. White's class, Casey Giliomi for always going the extra mile to produce beautiful and creative work. She's incredibly kind and caring and always willing to assist both teachers and peers. And Luke Dutoy for his positive attitude, well, we'll read through it anyway, for his positive attitude, mature approach to his work, always being at school, uh, hang on, um, to his work and his interest, interesting contribution to class discussions where his input is appreciated. And then Matthew Mills, uh, for his positive attitude, mature approach to his work, and his interesting contribution to class discussions, where his input is appreciated. Well done, Matthew. Grade six, Ava de Stadler, this is Brawson's class, for her caring nature towards her peers and displaying a determined effort to have a deeper understanding and make connections in her learning resulting in a pleasing overall improvement this term. Well done, Ava. Joshua Rankin, for his positive, uh, positive approach, as uh, a positive attitude towards school, his diligent work ethic, and in-depth understanding of his learning, as well as the growth he's shown in participating and sharing his creative ideas in group discussions. And Mrs. Brawson's winning the prize for the longest citations. Emily Shane, for her 
for the maturity and courage she has displayed while navigating a difficult term, as well as being fully engaged during lessons and being determined to achieve her personal best in all that she does. Good job, Emily. Mr. Coulter's class, Emma Falkenberg, for her phenomenal terms work through diligence and determination and taking the leap in her academics, there, yeah, jumping again to the next level, as well as finishing the term on a 99% average for maths. Well done, Emma. What happened to the 1%? <laughs> Just saying. Diego Heldenace, for an excellent effort in mathematics this term, achieving an average of 94%, as well as improving his general overall averages. Um, well done. Jada Dyers, for a positive and focused academic effort, steadily improving her overall averages term by term through asking questions in class and not giving up until she understands. Well done, Jada. Ms. Polikas class. Kumani, Kumani Kikla, for his mature approach towards his learning this term, continues to give his best in everything that he does. Keep this up, Kumani. You have what it takes to do it. Well done. Peyton Beals. Peyton continues to show leadership towards her peers and is a well-respected member of the class. She has excelled this term in all aspects of school life. Well done, Peyton. And Mia Grondon. Mia has grown in confidence this term, contributed to class discussions and being a positive influence to her peers. She is always giving her best. Well done, Mia. 6S, Mr. Stoneman's class. Trinity Solomon, for the growth that she has shown this term, she has stepped up, we call it jumping up, Mr. Stoneman, and it shows in the results that she's produced. Well done, Trinity. And Faye Ashburner, for her continuous and consistent work ethic so far this term, she's proven herself to be a persistent young lady. Faye is improving all the time, and she's taking big leaps. Are you getting there? towards making the jump. That's much better, Mr. Stoneman. Making the jump. Well done, Faye. And Mikuson, for the effort he puts... That, oh, for, thank you. For he put into his academics this term, he showed great improvement, especially in mathematics. He's showing determination and is reaching the goals that he set for himself. Well done, Mika. Mika. 6B, Miss van Lockerenberg's class. And Minky Faree, for a committed effort to improve and listen attentively in class. She can be proud of the noticeable improvement in her work this term. Minky is achieving the goals she set her mind to. Well done. Clara Papini for her, is absent, but for her creative writing, especially her descriptive essay, it was a pleasure to read. Clara has also made a wonderful improvement in her confidence to share her ideas and input in class discussions. It's easily said, but sometimes difficult to do. That's a major jump to the confidence to share our ideas in the class. Cole Jonas, for his enthusiastic participation in all lessons, always trying his best. And Cole always shows respect to those around him and is a proactive and helpful member of our class. And we walk past Cole in the passage of the teacher, he always says good morning to you. And he even smiles at me sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Cole. Seven, grade seven, Mrs. Berger's class, Kelsey Birch for always approaching every day with a smile and a positive attitude and producing pleasing results this term. Well done, Kelsey. Gregory Crawford for being an excellent role model to his peers and displaying exemplary manners in the classroom. He works diligently and with great accuracy. Well done, Greg. Jordan Powell for consistently producing work of a high standard and giving of her best in all she does. She sets a good example to her peers on how to manage a balanced life, all the things she has going on. Ms. Croom's class, Erin uh, Vessels, for the diligent and mature way in which she approaches her work. Jean-Luc Colborn, well done Erin. Jean-Luc Luc Colborn, for his pleasing improvement in maths this term and for always trying hard to work to the best of his capabilities. He's absent. He's probably working on his maths at home. Uh, Nathan Kum, for his diligent and mature work ethic and for the pleasing improvement he's made in maths this year. Also working on his maths. Maybe they're doing a teamwork on it. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Donnelly's class. Kelly Dawson, 
for her diligence, enthusiasm for learning, and consistent performance in all areas of her studies. And Kelly, as your math teacher, I've seen you grow in confidence in your academics this term too, which is great to see. Mia Reddy, for her focused and diligent approach to her studies, which resulted in a consistent improvement in her results this year. Well done. Caleb Veltaken, for the pride and effort that he puts into everything, and he does, resulting in work of a high standard. So Caleb, someone who gets something wrong, he goes home and practices and bring it back, brings it back the next day to get it checked. He wants to get things right. Well done, Caleb. Mrs. Schenk's class, Lorelai Helsby, for her quiet and independent approach to her work. She, always, she is always prepared for class and has produced work that she can be proud of. Well done. And Rourke de Swart, for his renewed diligence this term, he is more focused and is participating actively in his lessons. Saskia Large, for her determined effort this term and her responsible attitude towards school, which has resulted in good progress. And Mr. Wilson's class, lastly, Mr. Wilson's class. Naomi Spalko, for the diligent manner in which she approached the term and for pleasing results. Hayley Serpentine, for the disciplined and enthusiastic manner in which she approached her work this term. And Chloe Smith, for a diligent work ethic and eager participation in all class. Oh, did I rush that one? Sorry, Chloe. Her diligent work ethic and eager participation in all class discussions. Those are the yellow merits for this term. Um, then we have courtesy badges are awarded to learners who are consistently helpful and polite beyond what is expected in all, and in all aspects of school life. The following learners have earned the courtesy badges this term. Ms. Kutz's class. Here's your job. Ms. Evans's class. Here's your hers. Kuyana Lisa Makweba, Mabeka. Well done. Ms. Hilda's class. Mia Peters. Mrs. Ingham's class. Emily van Fien. Mr. Phelps' class. Megan McLinda. Mrs. Henry's class. Tamron van Aswerken. Ms. Hartman's class. Annegret Gerard. Mr. Ingpen's class, Connor Manuel. Mrs. Wright's class, Amy Wilson. Mrs. White's class, Sage Buchanan. Mrs. Brawson is Reese White. Mr. Coulter's class, Abigail Latoy. Ms. Polycat's class is Michaela Doyle. Mr. Stoneman's class is Faith Bockhorst. Ms. Van Lockerenberg's class is Robin Paulson. Mrs. Berger's class is Amy Palanda. Ms. Croom's class is CJ Kotzer. Donnelly's class is Joshua van Niekerk. Ms. Schenk's class is Nathan van Veek. And Mr. Wilson's class is Tegan Gounden. Is there anyone left? Come here. Who's left? Mia, come here. And Riley, come here. Oh dear, why are there two left over? Come and look at close. Come and stand in the middle here so we can see who you are. Right. These two here have no idea why they're here. They're going to do a tap dance. No, they're not. Uh, earlier this year, we announced a whole lot of prefects. And then later on, we announced the head boy and the head girl. I can announce to you today that because they have spent a whole lot of time and effort doing their jobs well, and because they are leaders, amongst the other prefects, our deputy head prefects for 2021 
are Mia Rotham Smith and Riley Klein. Give them a clap for you. Congratulations. It's been a long time coming, but unfortunately under COVID we haven't had the opportunity to see everybody working as like they normally, normally would in their roles. And we waited, and you guys are people who have shown leadership. So well done, and we know that you guys will continue to be good leaders. Only one term left, uh, but show us what you can do of being leaders amongst the great seven, but also amongst the prefects. Okay, congratulations. You guys can go back. All right, congratulations to them. Some other people who have been doing interesting things this term, these are the ones I know about. If you've got something you've been doing this term where you've achieved something, you're welcome to let me know about it, and we will announce it in the assembly because we're we'll very proud of you. And for instance, our gymnasts, our gymnasts have been doing trials, and some of them are representing the Cape Town area, and they've made that group. I've got a list here of the ones who are going to be competing for the Western Cape in nationals in Pretoria. In October, the following people representing the whole of the Western Cape: uh, Layla, Mc Layla McNaughton, Nikita Rusby, and Taylor Craig. Congratulations to them, who are going to be representing the Western Cape in Pretoria for gymnastics. Also, congratulations to Courtney Thomas and Rebecca Cross and Gabby Zaba. They are going to represent South Africa as dancers, and they will perhaps be going overseas in November to go and represent South Africa. How cool is that? So they won the competitions here in South Africa, so now they're going overseas to find someone that they can beat there at their, their dancing. So well done, girls. And then talking about Courtney Thomas, and a couple of people involved with PSI, but Courtney Thomas's team in the PSI, it's an interprovincial indoor hockey tournament, and she was part of the SEALs, the, the Western Cape team, and they came third. That was just last weekend. Well done to Courtney. Improving her hockey skills by doing more than just being at practice. Well done. Right. Now, lastly, we have the house points for the term. Now, there's a special prize for the winning house. And the winning house gets to wear civvies the whole of next week. So let's see who that winning house is. Come and help them with the flags here, guys. We'll oh, announce them one at a time. We're going to do something a little different today with house points. Okay. You know Not too different, do? eh? Not too different. You know what we're going to do? Tell us. We're going to have battles. Okay. Well, I know, like, you know, everybody knows what's going on, but you know, it's that's. Yeah, I've got a maths class waiting, so battle quickly. I'm part of that maths class. Oh, okay. So I want to hold that. Thank you. Do I get to read anything or not? Um, not yet. Okay. And in first place is. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. What do I do? It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna have these two houses. So this is this is how we're gonna announce the winners. Okay. So look, these two houses they're competing. <laughs> oh no! Red, blue. Oh dear, blue oh, lost blue. to red. Oh dear. So yeah. red's winning. Red is in the lead. Yeah. Give me another color. <laughs> so so blue, you didn't win. Okay. Okay, we got another fight. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, yeah. green didn't win! Sorry about that! Sorry about that! Red is still winning! Fantastic! Oh, is it gonna be red? Is it gonna be yellow? You know what? I don't think you guys will ever guess between red and yellow. Red, yellow, red, yellow! Who's gonna win? And the winning house is... Red! Well done! Put that flag up there. In first place was Red House with 2,838 points. Yellow was in second place with 2,430 points. In third place was Blue House oh, yeah. with 1,740 and Green House got 1,539 points. Tomorrow we'll announce the winner for the whole term at tomorrow's assembly and we'll see who won the whole term. Well done to, what house won again? Red House. One. Good job. Good job. Red House is the best house. Of course we know that. Well done to Red House. Well done to everyone that got a merit today. Also, as I said to the grade fours and fives during the week, um, as I look at the reports, we can see that people have made a big jump this term. I, across the board, we see a big improvement in our, the works being produced and the marks that have been produced. Um, so well done to everybody for the effort you put in. We have next term, we have six weeks, and then we're writing exams. Um, so you have six weeks to make the jump and get ready for make the next for next grade. 
for next year. Make sure you've got everything learned you're supposed to get learned in this grade. There are exams as well, which you don't have to learn for. But the most important thing is making sure you understand the maths and the Afrikaans and the English and the geography and all those things um, so that you are ready for the grade that's coming up next for you. Okay. So we'll see you tomorrow morning again in assembly and well done again to those who've got minutes. Thank you, Smokey.